Hello. Hi, and ni nice to meet you. I'm Rosie from The Upcoming. Um, so firstly, what would you say the film is about to anyone who hasn't seen it before? Well, it's about three things, really. One is what our responsibilities to other people are, where they end, where they start, where they end. And for a judge, do those responsibilities go beyond the courtroom? Something about the family divisions. You know, every country, every judiciary has a, 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 a bit of the courts that deal with, you know, divorce and death and children and money and so on. And um, often very fine, difficult moral decisions have to be made by judges, sometimes six times in a morning, you know. So I really wanted to explore that too. Um, also where religion and real faith and deeply held religious conviction runs up against the secular courts and, you know, how that is resolved. So what is it that made you think this would be particularly suited for the screen uh, to be adapted? Um, yes, I thought so. I mean, it's, it's very character based and very much centered on the, the character of the judge. And because we've got such a strong actor in Fiona, it really becomes, you know, she makes it hers. But then actually Richard um, and the casting director really gathered such a lovely cast together. Actually. So, I mean, it couldn't have been better from my point of view. Yeah, and speaking of the cast, so was it nice to see Emma Thompson? Sorry, yeah. speaking of the cast, was it nice to see Emma Thompson kind of portray your character? And did you like what she did with the character? Um, I, I'm really pleased that, I mean, she was our first choice and uh, we were so thrilled when she said yes. Uh, you know, she has such power. Uh, she did a lot of research, she spoke to judges, of course, uh, and she became a judge. I mean, there's no question. You know, she really lived it. Uh, at the very end of the movie, she breaks down in the most spectacular fashion. And um, when you think that you know, she has to do that six times, different angles or different attempts, and you think the professionalism of that, um, even now I can't watch that scene without sort of cracking up a little myself. So. Would you say she brought kind of a new element to the work that maybe you didn't see when you wrote it originally, or the novel? She's very, very good at uh, really just, in, even in her silences, giving you her, her thought. That's really cool. I was impressed by the way they'd all read each other's judgments and rather teased each other. And, uh, and then I started reading some judgments in the children's, in, in the family division. And I thought all of the concerns of the novel are here. You know, love, the end of love, the care of children, what happens to money, death, birth, everything. In a way, a lot more human and interesting, to me at least, than the criminal courts. You know, some of these judgments are very finely balanced. You know, sometimes it's two opposing goods. It's not, we're not talking of evil here, just human difference. You know. These cases come up a great deal. And in fact, this sort of based on a real case where the judge went to the bedside, as happens in the movie. In the real case, the judge and the boy talked football, uh, and then the judge decided that the hospital did have permission to treat the boy, and he took him to a, a Man United game and uh, fulfilled the boy's ambitions. <laughs> sort of love. It's not, it's not quite erotic. I no, mean, it's this not. boy exactly. is the child maybe that the judge never had. Uh, and for her, he represents a kind of intellectual guru. He, he suddenly uh, is just interested in, by her mind and by her open mind, and she turns him on to poetry and music, and uh, everything then follows. I so much wanted to work with Richard again. We hadn't worked together for so many years, so I always wanted him to uh, do something, uh, for us to do something together. And this seemed perfect, so I showed him the novel, even before it was published, in the hope that he would say yes, and he did, so I was very pleased.